Mm. Yum. Mm. So, I've been wanting to try something out for a little while. Um, basically, I've got this new mountaineering boot from Solomon, and it comes with a trail, trail shoe that looks like that. On the inside, this is Solomon's lightest uh, trail shoe, and this actually fits inside here. You can go up the mountain. So, yeah, just thought a great day to go and try it out. It's beautiful weather out today. Uh, nice light winds, so hopefully we can do a little fly from somewhere high up on the mountain. But first, breakfast. Down in Lazouche. Got my wing, some water, my little trail shoes on. Let's go. So, talking about these shoes, what I would say is they're very light. They've not really got very much support. If you're the kind of person who runs like flat footed or heel striking, probably not going to be the shoe for you. But having said that, it's the only shoe that fits inside the S-Lab X-Out Modular. I think that's what it's called. Uh, so if you want to use that boot, you don't have many options. But it's nice and light. It's mesh shoe, so it breathes really well. So great for walking in on a hot summer's day, long approaches. But yeah, just be aware. It's a high-end trail running shoe, so not loads of support. So, try these boots on, see if we can get them on. There's a, there's a strap in there, you need to pull that out. And in, that's the start. See how they climb. Seems to be pretty grippy. Not quite as precise as some other boots that I've used, but I mean, I'm wearing two pairs of shoes. So just climbing up the Agri de Goutier here. So this is the this is the normal route for climbing Mont Blanc and you start from the Tet Roost down there normally. Come up the snow, across the gully, up here, and then you climb up this face all the way up to that hut on the on the left of the to the left of the sun there, and then traverse across over to the, the new Gute hut. <laughs> normally when you do it there's less snow than this. And it's actually quite hard going, it's like not easy to cramp on into, but that's yeah, okay. We get, we're making progress. Hopefully I'll be in the air maybe in an hour and a quarter, hour and a half. So yeah, we'll see. It's, it's only about another 600 meters to the top and I'm just gonna fly from the top of the Agri de Gute, so. Bueno, beautiful day. Woo!
So there we go, nice flight from the Agri de Goute there. Um, it was a little bit windy on the takeoff, so I wanted to focus more on, on getting that done safely. Uh, that's why I didn't manage to film it, but hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on this boot before I sign off. It's a really amazing thing that they've managed to do here. It's the first of its kind, it's a trail shoe inside of a boot. For some people in certain situations, that's going to be absolutely ideal. I don't think it quite replaces a mountaineering boot, however it does work really well for long approaches or long descents where you spend most of the time on the trail and maybe you've got some snow line or some ridge climbing to do uh, high up in the alpine. It's nice and stiff the boot and it worked really well for climbing up snow. Uh, it's not quite as precise as some mountaineering boots on the rock, however it's worth trying it out in the shop and making sure that it fits you. My feet stayed dry, my feet stayed warm, so that was a that was a, a, a bonus as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video and just make sure to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any ideas of videos you want to see in the future, just leave a comment below. Cheers guys, I'll see you next time.